Hey guys, Ellen here. Sorry, just fixing up. There we go. Um, Ellen here, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in Australia. Merry Christmas, Happy Boxing Day, Happy Holiday Season. Whatever you are celebrating over this holiday season, hi. Um, I am setting up my iPad just in case because I can't no one's joined yet so i'm not sure if anyone's there and i can see myself on a really big screen i can see love hearts hey bobby yay someone's here and i can see comments woohoo okay so um i just wanted to come on i'm just sitting in my craft room everyone's really quiet i even forgot to shut my study door or tell my family that i'm going live so this may be very interesting guys there's lego being built so i can hear my son rifling through all the all his lego to find the pieces that he's making his uh, last big set which was his santa gift so he's very happy been very very happy um and i over the last couple of days have just been making some cards i've been using up my dsp from the with dsp as in designer series paper from the holiday catalog so just to show you i made these ones on christmas day i shared them on the here um and on my blog yesterday so i have used the joyous noel paper and the um darling punch box so this is this is that's the stamp set from the darling punch box and there's the punch as well and i also now i haven't I also made up these babies. I had lots of this paper left. So this is also the Joyous Noel paper. Um, and I made them up because I did share my TP cards over the last week. And I couldn't use this paper for the TP cards. Otherwise, all the reindeer would have been on a weird angle. Hey Lorraine, thank you so much for joining. Lorraine, when you go back to work or when our mutual friend goes back to work, he's bringing a package from me to you. I already, I've sussed it out. So there is a package coming to you. Hey Deborah, thank you so much for joining. Um, Lorraine, it is the new catalogues. Um, they're coming your way so I have a way of getting them to you so um, yeah I've been using up my designer series paper so I've used all my card front sizes of the joyous noel paper and then I was there going mm, I'm gonna pull out some new catalog things and start playing with them today and then I went oh no it was a huge oh no moment because I have almost a full pack of my frosted floral paper. So, and I went, oh, I need to use it. And because, as many of you know, I do send out um, birthday cards all year to friends, family, demonstrator friends, all of that. Hey, Sarah, thanks for joining. Um... I went, well, why don't I use up the designer series paper because I like using up my paper and my scraps will go to my eight-year-old granddaughter. I've already promised her all my scraps unless I make some scrap type projects um, between now and when I um, give her the things I may make. I've seen a few things done with scraps, so I may do that. Um, I have almost used all the floral paper out of this set and I sort of have the leafy, more gender neutral paper left so I may end up making some masculine cards um, with that but today, and I've already prepped them, I've already done, yes and it's beautiful paper. I love the shimmer in the paper. And for this card that I'm going to show you in a second, um, I have used, I've stamped on our shimmer paper, the sentiment, but we're using, 
no, I, I assume it's the signature piece. So this has all the big watercolour florals. So the whole, all the A-sides of the paper are um, watercoloured and then scanned and colour corrected and all of that to make our Stampin' Up! colours. And they are printed on shimmer paper. So you should be able to see that shimmer. So I've already got my card fronts cut. I've already got my card bases cut, um, punched and stamped sentiment. And I've got a few other ones. Don't quite know how they're coming together, but I have elements made. Um, what else did I need to tell you? Before we get started, we do have, and I'm totally unprepared as normal. You know, you guys know me so very well. Oh, right. So, no, that's a Stampin' Success magazine. That is not helpful. Right. Now, the Stampin' Success magazine is a demonstrator magazine that we get from Stampin' Up! So, if you guys did want to join and get this beautiful magazine, which is full of ideas, goodness tips, tricks, all of that, which is great. Um, we receive one of those every quarter. But um, in the meantime, we do have the occasions and the celebration, which is for every $90 you spend, um, you receive a product out of this absolutely free you cannot purchase them you have to earn them so these are the new catalogs coming out on January 3rd so I have already made some things but I'm not going to share them for those who have already my customers who have already received um, their catalogs that I've sent out or hand delivered if you live locally enough um, you either have myself or my eldest um, hand deliver your catalog so uh, and in those they got a Christmas card and a card using some product from the new catalog so I have made some things but what I might do now is flip myself around and see if my new tripod setup works because you guys are getting this all live um, and I'm going to see if it works so I'm going to cover the camera and move my tripod set up and we will see how we go. And right, let's see guys. I keep, my camera's telling me I can't rotate my phone and oh, it's all fun and games. My phone's come out of the tripod. We'll know what's happening here guys. Let's try and flick this screen. Okay. Okay. Now I'm just going to be back. I need to turn off my overhead light so I don't get lots of shadows. To. Oops, sorry guys. Just bear with me a second here. Sorry if I give you a bit of... Right. I think we're good. Right. It's good except for the shadows. But you can see what I'm doing. Unfortunately, I have my iPad set up so I can see. Sorry, Bobby. So, so, so sorry. Okay, right. We are here. So, as I said, I have my pattern paper, which is the uh, frosted floral. And I have cut some one and a quarter inch circles. Some... Mm, one and three eight circles and I have stamped with the picture perfect birthday um, in blushing bright which is one of the colors in the paper 
and I have punched that out with the two and a quarter inch circle so I have done that and these are grey granite card bases so let's see how we go with getting all of this together I will grab some of my favorite glue that we sell at Stampin' Up have a pair of scissors I'm going to need some dimensionals what else will I need hello Miss Jamie I'll oh, see Jamie you've got friends here um, ba -ba -bum. okay I think that's it so I'm just going to pop these circles to the side because I want to attach my card fronts first I might just do one and see how I go and see if I can find something that I'm happy with right making sure I'm in shot all of this so do you guys hoard your DSP or do you try and use it now I did try and use it but there are only so many classes that I can run so this is where I have kind of come unstuck with my DSP usage. I do like the wiggle room I get with this glue except for when I get it all over my hands like I just did. Okay. So I'm thinking this one, now this placement may change for each card. I'm not a huge fan of this flower, so I'm just going to cover it up. And I'm going to use, okay, I think I'm happy with that. So I'm going to pop a couple of dimensionals on this. Oh my dear word. <laughs> you are, you really don't like it, Jamie. I'm normally, I normally don't get it on my hands. And if I do, I end up wiping it on this hand. And then I go, why have I got black marks all over my hand? Hey, Ray, thanks for joining. I won't even ask what time it is in Canada because I'm assuming it's going to be very late well then again not too late so I'm just going to pop some in the middle so then I can keep roughly where I'm going to put this this still gives me See, I'm fine as long as... See, my hands aren't sticky anymore. So, I'm all good here. So, did we all have a nice holiday period with family and friends? I know I've seen a number of pictures online from people. So, there's the rest of you. I don't know. Well, not that I don't know you, but I haven't seen things. Good. I'm glad. Your pool would have been very well used, Jamie. 7pm Tuesday. Not too bad. So we are at 2pm on Thursday. Yes, we do. And Jamie and my children are conspiring to for us to have lunch so they can catch up. I think I'm happy with that. But I think I might get out my snail to, for the next one. I think I'm happy with that. And I think what I might do is on the inside, so I'll assemble them. And then what I want to do is put today we celebrate wonderful, brilliant, fabulous you on the inside. 
because I really like that sentiment. Okay, right. Card one, done. Card two, there is eight. So if you guys are getting, oh, that's a shame. Oh my God. Da <laughs> Please tell me dad gave her some type of generator to do it so she doesn't have to manually blow it or is that part of the fun Jamie that you guys can watch and laugh while she gets left with no breath hang on Jamie your birthday is such a long way away you just got a birthday card off me it was your um big birthday which Sorry, I didn't know I can't help with that yet Please excuse my Google Home in the background. Uh, this one feels upside down. So make sure we pop it on the right way. Okay. Does it feel better? She has a plug up blower upper. Right. Oh, yes. Yes, absolutely the sentiment is for you, Miss Jamie. I would never have it any other way. Now... I do have a thing against the brown flower on this one, but I like them. I think I prefer this one to this one. So I think, do you know what? That's so fairly centered. I don't know that I need the other ones on there. Apparently, I even chose the right colours for Jamie and everything. But I've punched them out, so I really just want to use them. It's just thinking, you know, groups of three and all of that kind of stuff. So three circles is going to work. And do you know what? I normally stick this um, this down. So this moving is sort of freaking me out a little. Oh my God, you can see my lifesavers and everything. I could, but do you know what? I'm just going to use them. Could I could on the envelope oh my god Jamie that's um that's asking a lot I do use the beautiful stampin up well I've got to make a choice step but yeah the envelopes I use are the beautiful smooth um the beautiful smooth stampin up ones but that doesn't necessarily mean that I go back and pull out the stamp set and do all of that but you get a beautiful smooth envelope okay and now if you hear any kids yahooing it will be the next door's kids playing in their pool and I think they may be a little annoyed because not only did we forget to put out our own bins, we also, um, exactly, um, we also forgot to put out their bin. But we were smart and we did get onto the council website and went, missed bin, and they came back and emptied them today, but we couldn't do that for them. Okay, card number two, done. Now please tell me if you're getting if you've had enough and I'll just flit on off. But oh my dear word. This is just so smooth that it doesn't really well that can stay there. This paper and wet glue on that first card it just curled a little, which is why I yeah, I might as well tell you because I look truly, Deborah. I say the same thing in my classes about why I do stuff. Um, I was very honest with my customers when 
I was going through the holiday catalog and they were arguing with me and I said you guys can argue as much as you want but this is my opinion and I don't particularly like whatever stamp set it was the embossing folder the swirls embossing folder I'm just not a fan it yeah it very much reminds me of embossing folders when I started card making and I've come a long way since then I really truly have um so I just went I don't want to go backwards do you can you guys guess what I'm covering up probably this one but I do love this pattern paper but if I had choice the one that's going to be really hard to cover up is going to be my next one and you'll understand when we get there now, I can pop these in a little further, but I just like having the pops of colour, right? Oh, yeah, please. This is nothing special, no techniques. This is just called loving it, chopping it, and getting the stuff used. So, please case them. Even this, um, no, where's the card? The card, the birthday card that I made, I did have um, someone ask if they could case it. And I actually found a very similar project on um, Pinterest, but unfortunately there were no details. Um, there was no watermark and the uh, picture link didn't go anywhere. So I couldn't actually credit the person, which was... Um, really sad because I do like to credit the people that inspire me da, da, da. this is more the work and I'm almost out of dimensionals too well I've still got the outside of this sheet but you girls know what I mean and Bobby sorry Bobby are you still here Bobby are you cleaning your desk He's neglected his craft room for far too long and um, he needs to clean it so then he can start afresh. Sorry, my best friend just texted me for a catch up with her, but it's not going to happen between Christmas and New Year. We're going to catch up in January. So, Jamie, do you have a day that we're going to catch up? Because Jamie lives fairly close to me. Close enough that I can go and swim in her pool. Who am I kidding? I'm not going to be... Um... Oh, good. Oh, and that spotty you mean closer to you and not near me. Mm, might go down. And then I might slide this one in there okay third card done so you can see I'm just seeing what looks nice look I'd be really happy to get this card I always love getting cards in the mail I'm just terrible at thanking people I got some beautiful um, random act of kindness cards in the mail do you know what the issue is I do have sticky on this but Sticky's wrong side up. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Let me see where we are here. Check me out. Oh my god, everyone's going to Canberra. Hello, Mel Connell. What a blast from the past. I have been seeing your posts on Facebook, but I haven't seen you around for ages. How are you? Yeah, you need to come visit me, Jamie. You need to bring your power tools so then we can do some rearranging in my craft room. No, I do not need to do any rearranging in my craft room. Jamie came and saved the day a couple of years ago with her her and her man power tools. Yes, exactly, Ray. 
Ah, oh, so are you still in the crafting world? <laughs> are you still crafting, Mel, or are you just lifing? Seriously, this snail is giving me the... Uh -huh. More pressure. I have just used up all my fast fuse on all my Christmas projects. So I think I'm in the fast fuse. I'm used to using it where you don't actually need much pressure. Hello. Hello, Miss Denise. Quilting, that is still crafting. That is still totally valid. This is totally back to basics and I'm just using up uh, some of my stash that is about to retire. So I'm just crafting away, chatting with my friends. Okay, so Miss D, did the family leave? I think we're going bottom because I really like this one. I wonder what colour that is. Sorry, I'm going to check. Oh. Oh, wrong DSP. You don't want to see my floor at the moment. Uh, blush and grow grey granite merry mellow mint macaron night of navy. So I think that's mint. It's just slightly ah uh, soft sea foam. Soft sea foam with some mint macaron. I really like that flower. Okay. Right here. Let's get cutting this. Oh, they didn't show up yet. How rude. Thank you for joining me, though. I did treat myself to um, a pair of sprung scissors, which uh, help my hands a lot. Less fatigue. Even though I love our Stampin' Up! paper snips. Yeah, exactly, Denise, exactly. So, who have you guys seen the holiday catalogue? Obviously, I know all the demonstrators have. Are you excited for what's coming? Are you sad at what we're losing in the holiday catalogue? Because I know I went through my holiday catalogue this morning. I took the carryover list and I went through and marked what's going and what's um, what's going and what's staying. Um, I think I've lost, mm, there's another, I think I lost three holiday catalogue stamp sets, but I didn't buy as many. What did I say, Denise? No, you won't be able to, Deborah. No. You'll have to use the gingham the gingham paper. What other paper did I buy? Oh, I bought the car paper. The um garage. I can't think of what's called. I put this one here. Oh, well, the holiday's going and the occasions is coming. This is why I'm all kerfuffled at the moment. I'm glad, Deb. Deb, did you make it to any of the on-stage events? And now I'm thinking, have I actually met you in person? Because I'm having a complete mental blank because my brain is in um, holiday mode. Because it's so lovely not to think about work and all of those horrible things that we have to deal with. Mm -hmm. Now it's not playing. See, you guys are seeing my real struggle with my hands that I have. They just don't want to work and the glue doesn't want to unstick itself. And uh, Right. We're four cards down. We're halfway there. I know, it was so funny. Owen just asked me, Mum, are we going swimming today? Because Thursday is their swimming day. I said, no, mate, they're closed. 
he went, okay, I thought I'd ask. I was very impressed he knew what day it is because this is a child that never checks his um, our family calendar and always goes, you didn't tell me that was on, Mum. And it's like, well, it's in the calendar. I shouldn't have to tell you. Okay, now for anyone who is interested, um, the these are our standard half an A4 sheet and then I have cut this paper a full centimetre, um, smaller than our card front. Uh, that is not perfect, but you know, it's handmade. Ah, Okay, Deb, because I, I know I've seen your name around enough that I know you in the sense that I can acknowledge who you are, but I just didn't know. Didn't know where you fell in the world. So are you looking at going to Auckland? I am looking at... Um, Booking my accommodation today, actually. I've, um, and then I have to call airlines because I'm taking my electric wheelchair to Auckland. So before I, um, yeah, I need to know if I need to pay more. This will be the flower, but I like this one. Mm, okay, right. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's good. Right. Yeah, who are the Aussies is coming to Auckland with me? I know I've got a couple of my team wanting to go, which is great. So I'm looking forward to having some of my girls with me. On stage is such good experience. Denise um, did Orlando recently in November and loved it. She was exhausted, but she loved it. Okay. You girls have gone so quiet on me. I feel like I'm here all by my lonesome. Because do you realise this is my first Facebook Live where I've actually been live crafting? What? Well, still recovering? Ah, uh, uh, let me see more. Ah, uh, that makes sense, Deb. Yeah, I, um, I have a walking and a hand issue. That's sort of my specialness. Da, da, da. Right, card number five. No, it must be card number six. Because I only have... Uh, maybe I totally counted wrong. Two, four. Yep, I counted wrong. I'm only actually making seven cards. Hey, Sim, how are you? Congratulations on rejoining, Sims. So great to see you in the team group. I did miss seeing your creations and questions. Okay, it's the snail with this paper, I've decided. And didn't you just have a promotion as well, Sim? You've got lots to celebrate at the moment. Uh, da, da, da. Yep, that's right. Uh, we'll do nicely. Okay, can we guess which flower I love? This big one here. Uh, 
And do you know what I might have to do? Cut another piece of paper just so I can use all the bits that I have cut and done. Yep, that looks pretty good. And I keep this one. Okay, great. I keep all my pretty ones. Wow, now you just got to get your second quick start. Now, Jamie, you were talking about sticky hands. I just got sticky hands again from that. Okay. Yes. The snail does not like sticky, um, smooth surfaces, unfortunately. I'm a one-handed maker. Ah, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I say it's either handmade or it's handmade, not hallmark. And the thing is, it's the thought. I um, shared a... I shared a meme here about no one no one puts no one prints out their emails and puts them on the mantle where a card when I receive birthday cards or if I receive a card in my craft room I do always um, pop them out so I currently have my Christmas cards except for the one that arrived in the mail today sitting um, in my vertical blinds in my dining room and every time I um, go by I smile because even if it's not a handmade cart um, they certainly do um, they certainly do. I love the thought that someone thought about me and put the time into, even if they just wrote to Ellen and family from whoever, they put the time into thinking about me and sending me a card. And I really do love and appreciate that. Um, so I really like that. And same with my birthday cards I always put, including my children's. They always go on the entertainment unit for at least a week, if not longer. Hey, Miss Jo Gates. How are you going today? Jo is one of my lovely customers and one of my um, most annoying, loving best friends. Who lives just up the road from me. I drove by your house today actually and saw that you were at home and wondered what you were getting up to. No doubt splashing in your pool on this hot summer's day. Yes, yeah, sorry Deborah. Oh no, who was it that's in Canada? I'm having a total mental blank. Ray is in Canada, I'm sure. Okay, now what, uh, this is very bare in the middle, so I might pop this in the middle and balance there, and then I should have one of everything left for my last card. Oh, I'm so glad I helped with that, I really truly am. Mm, I do like them layered together. Right. Too hot for the pool. Maybe later when it's cooled down a bit. And I've had to shut the door. Hey, Deb, how are you? I've had to shut the door in my study, Joe. And I can't have the fan on because that makes a bit too much noise and is a touch distracting. So I'm starting to get a bit stuffy here on my hot air. Hey Cheryl, thank you guys for joining. I'm just having a bit of a crafting session. I thought I might as well do have my crafting session with friends rather than just sitting here. Although I have been watching a fair bit of Netflix and um, I've been watching some... Um, some seasons that I've been looking at uh, watching for a while. I've watched um, Maniac. 
I have, I'm currently watching Glow. And I've watched something else. I finished, for, oh, I finished watching Riverdale. I decided I'm not a fan of the new Sabrina series. Please tell me I'm not the only one out there. It's actually not too bad, Joe, because I've got the awning outside my window, like the pergola. So it's not too bad. Has anyone tried to watch the new Sabrina series? Because I, re I just can't warm to it. I, um, I don't like that Salem doesn't talk. That was just the best part of the series. I've got nothing against the actors and actresses. It's just I really want Salem to talk. And, yeah, I just couldn't get into it. I see, I didn't mind the darkness of it. It's, yeah, I couldn't get into it. And I started watching something else that I wanted to watch. And I went, you know what? I can't get into it. Yes, exactly, Sim. Yeah. Oh, Joe, you like it. Okay. Okay. I've got so much on my watch list. Um, I'd heard... I follow M. Rossiano on um, Instagram and she was saying Tidelands, which is an Australian Netflix series. Tidelands is apparently really rubbish. And when someone says it's really rubbish, I am, of course, going to give it a go. Okay, so that's me finished with seven cards. But because Ellen can't count and I have one of everything left, I'm going to bring back in my paper and see what we have scraps of and see that I can't use something so what is this oh, that's just yeah I can use this one because it's a scrap zero degrees ouch I have no idea what the temperature is here. I'm too scared to look, actually. Okay. And I'm still left with another scrap. Yeah, well, summer's really only hitty, Aussie guys, or Central Coast Sydney people. Summer has really only hit, like, the last week. Only the last week it has been particularly warm in any way shape or form so if I designed some masculine cards with these like B sides uh, would you guys like me to come on again and show you or what oh new umbrellas so umbrellas over the pool like a cantilever type one Jamie I'll have to check it out when I'm finished talking to you lovely ladies. And if Bobby's still here. How could I forget Bobby? It's a bit better. Right. Okay. So. I don't know. No, I can't really use that one. Oh, do you know what? There's purple here, so I'm just going to use it. I'm just going to go for it. Oh, thanks. I shouldn't be on for too much longer. Where, oh, mm. Unless you want me to stamp the insides while I'm on screen with you girls. Because I've got to do Jamie's um, sentiment. And you know what? I may write your birthday card now, Jamie, and just hold it for December. But then again, I may make another one. Mail cards would be great. Cool. Well, I might come back in a few days, or maybe even tomorrow, who knows. And, um, yeah, I'll have a play. I'm thinking... 
could use rooted in nature no one giggle um could use rooted in nature with them because i didn't buy the the stamp set that goes with this paper because i do have quite a number of floral sets already so i just went no but i love the paper and everyone loved the shimmer of this paper in real life um yeah oh that's good i'm almost finished my shaded dimensionals <laughs> She is going to... Oh, sorry. Did I miss a comment? Oh, right. Cool. Yes, mail cards. Okay. I will be back. More than happy. Because I will share this ramble also on... Actually, do you know what? I might turn... Ah, yes, you do. Oh, my God. Joe's husband. My son. My eldest son loves Joe's husband. He tinkers with cars. Oh, Joe, we went to Subaru today. So for those of you that don't know, hold on. I'll dial back and then I'll tell Joe. We bought a new car recently. And um, the first time, because I've got my wheelchair trailer on the back, the first time we opened the boot, we may have scratched just like the lip of the boot a touch. And my husband, David, rang the guy that sold us the car and he went that's okay oh my god I did have the other sheet there it was hiding oh it's okay I didn't count wrong does this mean I need to make another card because I know I do have a card base sitting here okay radio. One more card for Miss Ellen the Dummy. Right. Um, yeah, so he said he'd order us some touch-up paint. And so he did, and we went and ordered it today. And my son was uh, chomping at the bit to sit in an STI because he is only 14. So I will bring back in this stand. Get my blushing bride ink as I knock over my water bottle. Get my punch. And I need shimmery white paper. Let's see if I've got... I do not have enough of a scrap. Mm, no. So what I might do is I've got a scrap of shimmery white and I will take this one off ah okay <laughs> yes yeah, sim we didn't pay for the touch-up paint the guy got it for us because he's amazing and um, it's actually a pearl paint and yeah so we didn't pay for it so we are not complaining at all because he's amazing so I may put this sentiment do I have a thinner scrap that will work even better I think I do Will this one work oh god yes this one will work better and then i will trim it down um yeah so he was he was great but um he watches all the videos about tinkering and blah 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 with cars and um joe's husband does actually have a car that he's currently working on and he loves getting invited up there goes and tinkers with cars he's just a bit obsessed lovely that's stamping perfectly now if you guys i don't have anything under here i don't have um a foam mat or anything but if your photo and polymer stamps don't stamp properly you can use our um foam mat That's clean. Um, it's okay. That'll do. 
and I don't have a wet um, I don't have a wet chamois at the moment so I will go and wet that for those of you who haven't seen our new ink pads they are now flatter and they open and close just like a makeup compact so pop it open and just close it till it clicks and that is going straight away okay trimmer back it down yeah jamie i really look i love my stamparatus but i find it incredibly useful for my um for multiple projects so when i was making oh did i put it away when i was making um these cards what i did i cut out the size of paper and set it up in my stamp artist and just went bang 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 and stamped all these out really really quickly um if i'm having trouble lining anything up I most certainly do use my stamp artist, but for one like this, I'm just here going, no. No, no, no. And really, handmade, not hallmark. We must remember this. Just a touch more off. I love that I can get tiny slithers off with the Stampin' Up! trimmer. Sorry, you couldn't even see me trimming there. Sorry, sorry. Okay, all the crashing and banging is over with now. Okay. Though, I do, because I had to... Hmm. Bear with me while I ponder here for a second and what I may do. I have the Love What You Do stamp set. I think I'm going to take this one or this one. I'll see what works best. Uh, let me have a look here. That one's a little small. Right. Take this one off. And I'm going to have to Blackberry Bliss and get it all over my hands. If you were my Blackberry Bliss, why aren't you? There it is. Although I don't look too closely at my Blackberry Bliss. It's uh, not a pretty ink pad at all. Right. And I think I am just going to put a few here and a bit across here. And there we go. Lovely. And then that balances it all out and we are all good to go and I don't feel like it's um it doesn't feel as lopsided even though it's not lopsided it's just the you makes it a bit off kilter and look I still managed to get blackberry bliss ink all over my hands because getting my hands nice and inky is my superpower well my crafting superpower anyway okay so let's just use a couple of long ones here oh it's terrible I mean, I love, I adore the Blackberry Bliss colour and I also adore our gorgeous grape and Rich Razzleberry. Let's just say I'm a little purple obsessed. And this, this paper sort of does remind me of my new bed sheets that, um, 
Actually, we all got new bed linen for Christmas. Yes, I do. I do. Um, it, the, the thing is, Jamie, it gets off the excess ink, which is great. But when I wash my hair, the staining goes away. So it was only like the tiniest bit on my thumb. So not as bad as what normally is. Normally it's a whole thumb or a whole side of my hand or my elbow or yeah. I know I was so happy they got delivered like um, a couple of days before Christmas. So I was really quite chuffed. Okay. Right. Done. Now. I'm assuming you guys would like to see me set up the Stamparatus to do the inside of the cards. <laughs> that is so true, Jamie. So, so, so true. Okay, so I have my Stamparatus here. I have my foam mat down. And I have this amazing... It's just a piece of... Um, um, photo uh, framing mat that my girlfriend cut because she does um, baby hand castings and stuff like that. So my girlfriend did that for me. Although I can't use that sentiment in here. I will use the happiest of birthdays to you. Yeah, so, yeah, the hand sanitizer, I always have um, hand sanitizer on hand in my craft room and I have some at my dining room table for classes as well. Um, that's okay, Deb. I'm really just finishing them off now and then I can pop my sticker on the back and put them in my... Um, the medium clear envelopes there we go is that straight that is fairly straight okay I'm going to grab my gray granite ink where do you buy it from uh, buy what Jamie the hand sanitizer Granite ink. Yeah, I just buy it from Aldi when I do my Aldi shopping. Um, so I've used grey granite card bases here. So I'm just using the matching grey granite ink. So I have just opened the card long ways, as you can see. Inked this up. Now, if you want a flat a flatter stamping surface what you can do oh okay do you know what i'm sure you can get it in um the reject shop you know okay done one card down i'm sure you can get it in the reject shop and the funny thing is owen bought some um some storage stuff for his Lego in the reject shop. And the only thing was there was part of the boxes or the drawers that he bought were, um, were just misaligned, but they still worked perfectly. Done. And that gives me two and a bit of hand drying them from. I wonder how my battery is going up there because I've realised I'm not connected and I've been on for a little bit. But hey. Ah, thank you, Joe. They have everything at the reject shop. They even have, like, because those of you that have realised recently I'm embracing my curly hair that I didn't realize that was quite so curly and um, they even have approved um, 
conditioner for curly girls that doesn't have all the horrible alcohol and drying stuff in it. Yes, he got the um, he got the little drawers for all these little bits. Like Joe, I think we're up to making set number four at the moment. He's on the um, the Ninjago shark. I know you know which set I'm talking about. So I'm just making sure these are lined up. I don't need to use, or I don't need to use my, um, it's all good, I know. Don't need to use my magnet. And if I really wanted to, I could use that um, sprig on the bottom of the card, on the inside, but I'm not going to. Yes, sorry, Ray, that is the dollar shop. It's um, it's a franchise that we've got here in, in Australia. We do have... Yes, Jamie. <laughs> I'm sure Christopher wants to do it by himself. I'm sure he doesn't want a third wheel to help him. But if he does want a third wheel, I'm more than happy to bring Owen over to help. Okay. There's that. Right. Oh, dear word. Kamikaze card on the floor. This goes on here because we're doing the reverse. Yes. So, yeah. Ours has. I'm assuming they all have similar types of things all the way around the world. It's just those rejects. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, Joe. He's really loving the um, green dragon, the Chinese green dragon from Ninjago. He finished that this morning and I, being me, I said, where's its wings? He goes, no, mum, it's a Chinese dragon. It doesn't have wings. And I went, okay then, mate. Ah, oh, really? That's a beautiful part of the world, right? Maybe the reject shop didn't exist when you were living in Australia. I'm not sure. Okay, sorry, just trying... Oh, would you believe I only have three left on my sheet. grab a whole other sheet so I can stick these up and then all I have to do is pop them in the bag. I might photograph them. Oh, did he get the Venom mech as well? The Spider-Man Venom mech. Owen got that too. Owen finished that, I'm assuming, yesterday. So, ooh, nice. I was, um, Jamie, I was talking to Nay and Matt today because um, I got Nay's um, Christmas card and um, I was making Matt jealous because he wants to build all his uh, Lego and he can't because they're driving. Wow. So, Ray, you are you Australian? I now need to know more. You got me all curious, Ray. So these are the stickers that I put on the back of my cards. These four demonstrator people out there. Oh, cool. Um, these are the ones from actual Stampin' Up. So I like them because they have the Stampin' Up logo on them. And I always put my details on the cards. So for you girls that make cards and give them away, make sure you put your name because you never ever know who people are giving the card to. 
and they may want some supplies they may want you to make them a card and hey who doesn't love making a card um even if it's for someone else to give ah okay right 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 all making sense because we were talking about auckland earlier or new zealand at least now i am tempting fate here no one told me i'd left this open right and away despite the fact i have a pile of ink pads sitting here on my desk so i like putting um, my cards in and i will show you in a sec in our medium clear um envelopes and then i put that in one of our stampin up envelopes to send um and that is because you never know what the weather's going to be like and to uh, just protect them in the mail i have sadly over the years received some almost blank cards um, especially at christmas time where people have put in all the effort into um, stamping their cards and it's got wet in our summer rain um, and it's got wet in our summer rain and i've got a blank card because all of the all of the um all of the ink because it's um dye based ink has just run which has been really sad so these are our clear envelopes you get i want to say you get 50 in a pack because it sounds about right and they do fit the american standard cards and the australian ones perfectly so all i do is just pop it in and i just store them open so it makes it easy for me to flick through and protects them in my box of cards but yeah thank you girls and guys so much for hanging with me i will not put them in the bag here on screen but i will flick through and show you the cards that we made together and there is not an ugly flower left because i've covered all the ugly flowers that i did not like i do like the little ones so that's okay but all the other flowers that i didn't like are covered over so thank you so much for popping in and helping my afternoon fly by while i was making these thank you nicole sorry nicole i didn't i missed you popping in um so as requested i will be back when i design a masculine card so what i'll do i'll try and have it prepared like i have this time um and yeah we'll just have a chat about everything and anything um if you guys did want to order these items they are still available the pattern paper is on sale until the 2nd of january um the stamp set is carrying over that matches this but the uh, specialty paper which is shimmery um is retiring and the happiest birthday set let's see if i a pitch perfect birthday is available and the other stamp set i used oh my god there is crap everywhere is the love what you do stamp set so that is what i've used today along with some circle punches so these are nice quick easy to put together and now i yes go for a swim jamie i'm going to open my door and let the cool air come in and i may even post this video on facebook on youtube and um, see if anyone wants to watch me making these cards. But have a wonderful afternoon, ladies. And I will catch up with you in a few days for the masculine version of these.